Welcome back to Good Morning Arizona. It is 9-11 after so many days in the triple digits and the kind of humidity recently that we are really not all that used to. People have been feeling drained, totally zapped of energy. Sometimes it even makes us a little cranky. <laughs> At least I'll speak for myself. So how do we keep from feeling like a zombie? Dr. Ed La Madrid is back. He's an Eastern medicine expert who joins us with some unique ideas to try. And all of this natural, yep. easily found in the grocery store or maybe already in your own in cabinets. Your mm -hmm. Yes. So you want to start with eating to stay cool. So we want to talk about eating. So now these are foods that have good source of dietary water. Okay. So because when you drink a, a glass of water, basically the body takes whatever it needs and you get rid of the rest. Mm -hmm. But when you eat foods that have a high water content, they kind of chug along and the body takes a little bit of water here, a little bit of water there. So it's almost like time release water. Oh, okay. Getting. So, and the two biggest sources are going to be cucumbers, mm -hmm. which is why the phrase is being cool as a cucumber, <laughs> not cool as a cabbage, uh, and watermelon, actually. And now you're seeing a lot of like watermelon juice, mm -hmm. especially, but cucumber is actually great to cool the body from the inside and also topically for sunburn. Oh, which nice. Which we talked about last year. Okay, great. Uh, a good snack for the kids would be chunks of watermelon and pineapple on sticks and freeze it. Oh, perfect. Because Pop the water Nature's content popsicle. will freeze it. Okay. So this is your healthiest popsicle ever. Oh, fantastic. And sweet as can be. Uh, sweet as can be. Uh, melons, honeydew, watermelon, peaches, plums, any of those succulent fruits okay, are going to be great. And obviously hydration, hydration, drinking it as well. Absolutely. So uh, cucumber water, lemon water, uh, chrysanthemum iced tea, oh. even coconut water is good, but coconut water is about replenishing any any of the electrolytes that you sweat out. Okay, and really if you're already feeling thirsty, you're already waiting too long, you're dehydrating. Absolutely, Absolutely. You, should be, you should be hydrating, especially in this weather, almost every hour. Okay, because I'm very headache prone in, in the summer heat as well, mm -hmm. and that has to do with the hydration, and right? And that's why this will take care of a lot of that. Okay, so keeping our, cool, keeping our hot spots cool. Pulse point. So if you are traveling, if you're out with the kids, if you're out at the beach or at the lake, getting these set up in a couple of plastic bags is a great way to cool people down. So your pulse points are areas of the body where you've got arteries that are close to the skin. Okay. Right? So when you apply a cold Boom. compress, you'll ah. actually cool the blood very quickly. Okay. So here in the wrist, in the elbow, in the armpit, around the neck are great points to cool, and this will cool kids down very quickly. My mom used to always do this to me when I was a little kid, and I always oh, yeah. thought it was kind of silly, but it does, it's very soothing, and it, it really works. does work. It works. Okay, now this is something you can kind of prep at home, and it'll help you sleep well. So let's say the AC goes out, and you're miserable, oh, and no. you can't get to bed. Mm -hmm. So fill a sock with rice, okay. throw it in the freezer. The carbohydrate, the starch in the rice actually retains cold, very quickly. And now this is this is raw rice, it's not cooked mm -hmm. rice. And then all you have to do is take it out of the freezer and sleep it's on it. It's fantastic. It retains the cold for about 30 minutes. So you will be asleep by then. You'll drift off to sleep. Last but not least, I want to mention this peppermint. Peppermint oil, essential oil is great. You can get it in lotions like okay. this and it'll give you a cooling sensation. Or you could take this rice sock and actually spray some. Oh, it smells so great. And it smells great. You've got rollers for your feet that you put in the freezer, but actually getting some essential oil, putting it on your temples okay. will actually give you that cooling sensation. Sort of as well. tricks your body into thinking you're cooler. The body will think that you've got that cool sensation going Very on. Very soothing. Thank you so much. Great to see you. We can Likewise. find you at your Likewise. website. Edlamadrid.com. That makes it easy. Thank you so much. These tips on Easy Family. All right.